So guess what I just found out? Did I just have Fireball laying around? Hey guys, so we're about to have a girls day. We're about to go antique shopping and then we're gonna go get tattoos. Right now, well, we're still in Cape May. I was like, if I'm gonna come up here for the music video shoot, might as well like spend the night and enjoy this day. They are in green phase here in Cape May, uh, Cape May County, same as home. Yeah, we made an appointment to get tattoos together in three hours we're gonna get matching tattoos and i have a feeling you guys are gonna love these tattoos and you're gonna understand the meaning behind them i'm having a virtual meet and greet performance and q a this coming saturday i have rehearsal tomorrow night so we're leaving cape may tonight i perform exclusively full-on live performance of a song i've never teased yet and it's from my beautiful mess album so you guys are gonna get a whole ass song you're gonna hear the whole thing before the album comes out um it's not gonna be on itunes or anything you're just gonna be able to hear it from this performance and then i'm gonna have a virtual meet and greet with you guys slash q a and yeah I'm, I'm excited to do a virtual thing with you guys i thought like I was gonna have to wait till all this is over to do a meet and greet. I realized I could just do meet and greets virtually until the world tunes back to a safer place and a safer environment. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more like virtual meet and greet type stuff for you guys. Sorry, I'm blabbing so much, so many like updates. I think we're gonna go get coffee or something and then we're gonna go to the antique shop. So. Yay. Yay. having a little photo shoot. We think this is just so pretty right here. It's like our aesthetic. And while we were taking these pictures, I'm gonna insert video here on what happened. It was just so funny. You look beautiful. You do too. <laughs> Honestly, I just feel like the crazy stuff always happens to us. The moment Cam was just like, just hit record. You ever just make a video like instead of a picture? I'm like, let's make a video. The moment we hit record, that happened. That's so funny. <laughs> It is a song that Nikki and I did in 2015. Those of you who stuck around for that long will definitely remember that music video and song. Um, it's no longer on iTunes because we had management in 2017. And when we were doing our EP, they're like, it's unprofessional, take that down. So we took it down. And I, ever since that song got removed from iTunes, I've been so upset because that song came from a special place in my heart during a very special time in my life. And so when I decided to put together my own album, the first thing I thought about was, I want that song back on iTunes. So I revamped the song It, It 2.0, but it's either gonna be called It or I Got It because I changed the words a little bit, revamped it to more of a 2020 version, but I honestly like it better and it's a really happy song. Our friendship goes back in history with this song. I just wanna let you guys know that It, the new version, It 2.0, is the last track on my 13 track album. If you guys didn't know this, which you do, my album is called Beautiful Mess, so it's the last track on Beautiful Mess. Hi, honey!
We did the three hour road trip home today. If you're wondering where I'm about to go, I have rehearsals tonight like I told you earlier in this vlog. My performance is tomorrow morning. I also went on a shopping spree today before we left, Cape May. I got this planner case, but it turns out it fits my iPad mini so good. Oops. And I go without a case for my iPad mini because it's so small. So this is just like the perfect cover for it. It's super glam. So this is the big Celine bag <laughs> that I bought today that I was talking about. I'll show you guys. I could actually fit in it. So this is the bag. You guys saw it in that like B-roll of the store. It's gorgeous. Wait, I wanna see if I fit in it. Is it in it like a martini glass? cute cover art for like a shopping horror song. format we're hosting artists right here in garage plots and really it's special to your heart too you grew up attending the festival which is why we're doing this today oh yeah i was here at east fest every year do you make them wait or should we get right to it yes. all right tell us what you're going to be singing for this song is called not today it's like a motivational powerful i don't need you song so all right enjoy everybody Walking on seashells, hiding all my details Say whatever works, hoping it don't hurt me Holding on your hand is a little piece of hell You tell me all these lies and never make it right now But I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing now And I'm blocking it, blocking it, blocking it somehow Showing it, showing it, showing it out Until I speak my truth And then it's all abuse 
My mood is turning gray, that salt is on my face I'm losing energy and losing parts of me, yeah But I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing now And I'm blocking it, blocking it, blocking it somehow Showing it, showing it, showing, wow I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna get away I don't need you, not tomorrow, no And not today, I'll be okay I'm gonna fly away, I don't need you, not tomorrow, no And not today Thinking out the box, diamonds in the rough Never thought we'd see the day, see the day You and me, you and me Roll the dice, fucked it up Yes, we can. Max it out. Conquer our problems. We solved them in spades, in spades. First world problems. We got them instead. It's alright. body works like cinnamon stuff going and they're like it doesn't but like do you like fireball I was like I love fireball so then all of a sudden I get back to the green room after my performances and they have like fire I'm like in heaven I'm go done. say thank you go say thank you oh my god don't bring it do I just have fireball laying around well you, have everything. you need all the alcohol to get through the day our fridges are packed damn Hey guys, so I just wrapped the show. It was like an hour for the performance of meet and greet, and then it was like five hours for the virtual meet and greets. It took like really long, but I'm so happy I got to meet 400 of you. Um, I know this vlog is like really long, but I just felt like I had to like address something that I just found out as I finished that five hour meet and greet. So as you know, my show Blood Queens films in like three weeks and I'm having like open casting calls for speaking roles and extras. And of course we're following Pennsylvania state filming guidelines for gatherings no more than 25. So with that being said, picking extras is super challenging this time because we have to narrow it down and circulate like the same 25 people every scene. So guess what I just found out? So basically, I hired someone who sent in a very amazing audition tape and they had like a really good roster and resume. So I hired this person and apparently she started telling all her friends, yo, Gabby hired me for Blood Queens. And her friends or people that know of her DM'd me screenshots of things she was saying to people and she was like, I'm only going so that I can make a video about my terrible experience and like make Gabby look bad. And I'm like, wait, what? I didn't believe it because obviously people could try to ruin people's opportunities. And then someone sent me like tweets and like messages this person has said like really horrible things about me. So I'm like, so I don't know how I'm gonna handle that because the whole situation is just weird. This has never happened to me before. I guess this is what you expect to just like tell people on YouTube, hey, send in a, send in a tape to this email. I'm sure like stuff like this happens all the time. I'm just like a little disappointed and that's kind of scary and I'm glad I caught on to that. I can't imagine what would have happened if her friends or her friend didn't notify me of the situation. So I think I'm, I'm gonna have like our producer send her an email or something. I don't know what we're gonna do. I hired a hater and I, I don't know how I did that. But needless to say, I'm exhausted. I've been on the go all week. I'm gonna go home and take a nap and I'll see you guys later. I'm home from my performance and I'm trying this prism face mask. It looks a little interesting. I have been suffering this what I call mask knee, M-A-S-K-N-E. I've been getting pimples around like my nose and like where a mask would go. So if you guys have any advice on how to combat mask knee, leave it down in the comments below. Also, I have a major 
life update with Colin right now. So I'm relaxing, doing my skincare after the concert, and all of a sudden, Colin goes, hey, I'm gonna go get hay for the bunnies. And then he comes inside, which with what I thought was hay, and he puts two hamsters on my shoulders. Yes, Colin purchased two hamsters when he went to go pick up hay for the bunnies. He just goes, surprise! Yeah, so I got two hamsters. The cage is behind us. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, don't have them together. I know that for now, but um, they're from the same litter, they're the same gender, so they're fine for now. Everyone's gonna stay still. They're gonna kill each other and separate them. Right now they're in a 10 gallon tank, but we're getting a really big one, and we know that if you wanna have two hamsters together, you need two of everything. Um, and if they do fight in the future, you know, we're just gonna separate them, and they're gonna get their own cages. But for now, they're fine, so you don't have to worry. Okay, so right now they are in a kind of small cage. But we're going to the store um, either today or tomorrow to get a bigger one. But we have this one big wheel. We actually have two water bottles already for them. And um, we have two wheels, so we're starting to get double. Two of um, everything. Yeah, two of everything. But we have this really cute big wheel that they love. <laughs> they, look like, they look like they're in the when they're on this. Yeah. So <laughs> Pumpkin likes this wheel, and Peanut likes this little one. Um, and they have this cute little, we have two of these, but it's a water bottle. Oh, here they come! Oh, they just woke up! <laughs> I woke them up. This is... Hi, girls. So that's Peanut. <laughs> they have a little tissue in there. I heard if you rub um, a tiny piece of tissue on your hands, um, they get to know their, your scent. Peanut is small, and the line on her back is a little more gray, and Pumpkin's is darker, and she's a little bit bigger. <laughs> really cute. I'd love to see her on the big wheel. Oh my there god. With the natural light, they sleep during the day, and then at night, when it's dark and there's no light, they're playing all night, and they're having a great time. Okay, so that's it for this vlog. Um, do you like your hamster? <laughs> Thank you so much. Every time I go, they're always like in the aisle right next to the hay, so I always go and see the, the hamsters. So please no negative comments about how their, their setup is right now. We're still working it out. So we'll see you guys in the next fancy vlog. Bye. Bye.